Hey guys, Llama Brent here, and today we're back with another Lego Bakugan video. Uh, I know it's been a little while, um, but I'm back with another one of these boyos. Um, so today, we're going to be taking a look at my Lego uh, Tigrera. So, um, you know, Tigrera is the main Bakugan. Of Bruno and um, so uh, this particular Bakugan uh, it's a lot more complex of a design um, to be able to make work in Lego um, and due to that it's more of a square that it is round um, like my other Bakugan these right here aren't actually part of the main build these are just for aesthetic you don't have to have those at all it'll just look like this these are just to have it like stand off the ground a little more um, because I couldn't engineer feet into it at the scale that I work in which is what I want to be as close to actual Bakugan scale as possible. Um, you'll also notice that these crossbeam axles are poking out. I can't really do anything about that um, due to how this works. Um, if I use any axles shorter than this, it won't be able to transform right. This is what I had to deal with in order to get it to actually transform how it's supposed to because that's another thing I want it to be as accurate to the actual transformation of the real Bakugan as possible so you know some things have to be sacrificed other than that the transformation itself is simple it's just the designing of it is a little difficult uh, or was difficult to figure out it's not a hard build if you want to see how to build of that Go ahead and comment down below to tell me, and I'll be sure to do that. Um, so Tigrera here, obviously, here she is. Um, like I said, her transformation is super simple. All you're going to want to do is take this back section and pull it back and just fold it like that. It doesn't have to go all the way back to the ground. If you wanted to, you could, but on the actual toy... It's just kind of up um, as like one panel. So there's that. And there's only two steps. The second step is using these axles to pull the arms out. So you're going to grab this section right here along this dark gray section. And you're just going to push on the axle as you pull that outwards. Like so. And you're going to do that on both both sides just pull it out until it reaches the very end of the axle like that and shimmy it out so the head is clear and there you have your Tigrera um, this is her head uh, this is the yellow part of the top of her head and her you know front fists um, I don't have a normal Tigrera. The only Tigrera I have is a Blade Tigrera, which is different, so it wouldn't really make that good of a comparison. Um, they don't transform the same, but, you know, hopefully you know how a normal Tigrera would transform, and you get the main idea of this. Um, this is where her face would be. I don't really like to draw on Lego, for builds like this so i usually don't but you know the face would be there there'd be some designs on the top of the yellow um but yeah here's tigrera um I, i'm i'm kind of happy with her um i'm i'm very happy with the actual monster form of the Bakugan, but the um, the ball form I feel is really lacking. But there's not 
too much I could have done about that with how I went about building this. So you got to work with what you got. Um, and you know, if you wanted to do this for display, you take two of these, you just put them right here on the very edge like that. And they're like little feet and that just props it up a little higher. So it's not as flat to the ground. And yeah, that is, um, that is Tigrera. Anyway, guys, that's about it for the video. Um, if you could see, I did pull these out a little bit more. Um, obviously, that messes up the integrity. But you could pull them out more if you want to see her face clearer. That's just the last ending note. Um, but if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. So you don't miss out on any new content, especially if you like these Lego Bakugan videos. I have a couple more coming out before I finish the first wave of the main protagonist Bakugan of Battle Brawlers. Um, the next two that I have are Skyrus and um, Hydronoid. Yes, Hydronoid. And he's in accurate colors, not the clear one. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!